Hi, welcome to Smooth Jive, and we're Jim and Nikki. We're going to teach you routine, we think it's 12 today. Um, so it's going to start off with Jim's, one of Jim's nemesis moves, I think. It's the double pretzel, so good luck with that one. Um, and then it's going to be a wrap lean and then a basket whip. So let's see how we get on. Okay, the format is demo. It might go wrong, actually, <laughs> in the demo, because this is really hard. Walk through. That will definitely go wrong. And then detailed teach, which will be perfect. Okay, double pretzel. <laughs> okay, whole thing looks like this. Seven, eight. Away, traveling return, offer behind, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That went right. It did. Double turn, out, basket, whip, and out. Okay. Whoa. That actually went right, so uh, <laughs> don't bother trying to skip to the good bit where it actually went right, So, because it did. Okay, walk through. Okay, now this is one of those moves, double pretzel, doesn't matter how many times you watch it on the dance floor, you can't work out how they did it. Okay, so you, you have to literally learn from someone step by step. So, uh, easiest way to get into it is with a traveling return. So, lead away, do a traveling return. Your right hand goes behind your back chaps and offers in this position. So I turn, and you'll notice I'm slightly out of the slot as Nikki's done the step back. So ladies, but I, I see his hand, so I'm going to reach for that because that's my signal, my follow. So I raise the left hand, and Nikki's just hand. taken my right hand in her hand. I then, we go back to back, I lower my left, raise my right, but I stay in position, and then I take my right hand over Nikki's head, but drop the elbow without hitting her in the face. I then take the right hand over my head, like so. Then turn in an anti-clockwise direction, one full turn, like so. So my right hand goes down, left hand comes over my head, like so. I take my left hand over Nikki's head, Start to lower my left hand, raise my right hand, again, drop the elbow, right hand goes over my head, then I raise the left hand as I lower my right hand, turning Nikki anti-clockwise into my right hand side, and we'll end up side by side because of the move, actually. Make sure your feet are together, lower both hands, step with the left, do a slight lean, I'm then gonna let go with my left hand, do a one and a half turn clockwise with the right as I raise it. Nikki steps back. I'm stepping to my left. I'm gonna do a basket whip. So I pull in, hand goes to the hip. I come round, I could take the hand, I don't have to. All the way round, unwrap Nikki and out. Okay, that was the walk through. We're now gonna do the detailed teach which I would needed when I first did this. So I'm gonna go this side to start this one off. So I think I wanna start this side. We'll do it from both sides anyway. So we start off with a traveling return. So we lead away, step to the left, creating space on my right hand side. Raise the left hand. My hand turns in Nikki's palm to palm. Nikki does the pass on this side. As she does, I stay out of the slot and I pivot, there's a lot of pivoting in this move. I pivot to my right, so clockwise, taking my right hand behind my back, like so. So my, my, currently my hand's here, then. And I can just see it there. As Nikki, as I bring Nikki back in, I start to raise the left hand. Nikki's just taken my right hand. I take my left hand over my partner's head and lower the left hand. So we're now back to back. From here, I raise the right hand, take it over Nikki's head, and immediately drop the elbow. So the elbow's down. And then, again, I haven't turned yet, I take the right hand over my head. Now this is the bit no one can ever work out. I'm gonna do a full pivot round. So literally, I come round to face Nikki in an anti-clockwise direction, like so. Keep going as I lower the right hand and raise the left and the left comes over your head. So I'm back where I started with my right hand behind my back. 
And my left hand now goes over Nikki's head like so. I lower the left, pull the right out, start to raise the right, and then immediately drop the elbow like so. And we're, again, we're back where we were before. So I take the right hand over my head like so. As I do, lower the right hand, raise the left to turn Nikki anti-clockwise. That's the end of the double pretzel. And we'll just add the lean on. This is where we are feet together. So make sure you're hip to hip. Lower the left hand. And we just do a little, take Nikki off balance and up. We'll pause there. Can I just say something for the ladies? So Jim has taught that very, very well. So from your perspective, you're probably thinking, what do I do? The best piece of advice I can give you is to keep your hand holds very light and let the man or your partner do everything. So I don't want you forcing anything or holding on or being very strong. So you need to keep things very, very light because he's going to be doing a lot of turning and um, holding on in his own way and turning your hand in his, in his rather than you having to force him into anything. Otherwise, you're going to break his arm. The other thing is, um, the only thing I'll add is Nikki needs to stay very close to me. Mm -hmm. So if she walks away, she, she'll start to pull me off my balance. And at that point, if that ever happens in freestyle, I just let go because it will just wrench my arm. So from this side this time, I'm going to lead away for the traveling return. So step to the left, creating space on my right hand side. Do we do the traveling return? I'm staying out of the slot. I'm going to pivot clockwise like so, offering my right hand behind my back, so. As I pull Nikki towards me with the left hand, I raise it. So left hand goes high, Nikki's taken my right hand, and we end up back to back, hands low. This is the tricky bit. We raise the right, drop the elbow, bring the right hand literally in front of our face, taking the, our partner's hand over our heads, like so. This is the bit people can never work out. How on earth did they do that? This is where you do a full 360 turn. So I'm facing the wall. I'm going to turn anti-clockwise, lower my right, raise my left, and I'm coming back round to face the wall. And I want to take my left hand high over my head, like so, and then over Nikki's head. As I do. So this is where we started. I'm going to lower the left, raise the right. Nikki should be over here. There we go. And then lower the right, drop the elbow, bring the right hand in front of my face, taking it over my head, raise the left as I lower my right. And at this point, the end of the move, left hand over your partner, Right hand comes to the hip, left hand comes low, feet together, and just off balance, and up. Let's do that one more time from this side. Okay, here we go. Remember, traveling return to start. Lead away, traveling return. I'm going to stay dead center in the, the side of the slot. Pivot, face the wall, offer that spare hand. Raise left, back to back, lower left, raise right. Drop the elbow, that's key. Bring my left hand in front of my face as it goes over my head. The full 360, round your partner, lower the right, raise the left, come back round to face the wall as the left hand goes over the head, over your partner's head, lower your back to back now, Pivot slightly to your right, raise the right hand, drop the elbow, right hand comes in front of the face, lower the right hand as we raise the left, wrap our partner in, and doom. How many beats is that? I have no idea. Let's work it out. Okay. Slowly, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, I've just realized <laughs> what? the reason people could never work this out is because that full pivot that we do in the middle of the pretzel is one beat. Yeah. Okay. That's so fast. it's a proper fast turn. So I'll just get to that point and I'll show you what I do. So it's a lead away, traveling return, like so, squeaky feet, left hand over, right hand over, right hand over the head. Now this is where it, it is tricky. I do it on one foot. I'm doing it on my left foot. So the ball of my left foot, I'm literally going to go round like so. I'll just go back. Ready? Round, like so. And I'm actually using Nikki a bit for balance there. Mm -hmm. And then, well, I can do the rest of the move. Like so. Okay, bear with. Where's the talc? At the top. So it is. We have got squeaky feet, so a little tip for those that don't know is you just put a little bit of talc, a little bit, and it stops squeaky feet and actually makes it easy to spin. There we go. Let's rub it in a little bit. This is not part of the dance, by the way. It's a shuffle, which I can't do. Okay. Okay. One more time. Here we go. To a beat this time. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, let's do the <laughs> next part. <laughs> like you need more. Okay, so we finished. Oh yeah, we were like this. We actually finished yeah. like this. So we did this. We're going to finish by letting go with the left hand. We're going to turn our partner clockwise one and a half turns with the right hand over the partner's head from here. We're going to wrap our partner in for a basket sway. Now, you can either catch with the left hand or not. So you wrap your partner in in an anti-clockwise direction. Now, normally, she would expect to go either back that way. What we're going to do is turn all the way around in a clockwise direction, let go with the left, pull with the right, and our partner steps back. Like so. Okay. That's so easy compared, compared to what to you've the been doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whole thing from this side. We lead away. Travel and return. Right hand goes behind my back as I pivot. And she steps back. Raise the left. Lower left. Raise right. Right hand goes over. This is the, this is the, the trigger for the full turn. Oh, that was quieter. Mm -hmm. Left hand goes over. Right hand goes over. Right hand over my head. Left hand over my partner's head, feet together, down for one and up. Let go with the left, raise the right, one and a half turns back. We're going for the whip, hand on the hip, round, let go, and partner steps back. From this side. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Lead away. Travel and return. Offer behind the back, raise left, raise right, full 360, doo -doo -doo. left hand over, right hand over, right hand over my head, wrap in, lean, let go with left, one and a half turns with the right, wrap into the right hand side, go round and away. Whole thing whole thing to account. It's about 55 beats, I reckon, mm -hmm. I guess. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18. All right, not quite 55, 18. <laughs> From this side, here we go. Five, six, seven, 
eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You work it out. I don't know what went wrong there. <laughs> One more time from this side. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, definitely 17. 17. There you go. <laughs> That's consensus. That's a democracy, this uh, routine. <laughs> so 17 wins the vote. Okay, if you enjoyed that, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you for the next one. Cheers all.